Shazam! Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to our channel here at Underdeveloped, where we cover everything movies and television. And today we have another review for you guys for Love Lies Bleeding, directed by Rose Glass. This is her second big film. Her first film was this uh, very low-key horror film called Saint... Um, Saint Maud? Yeah, at least I think that's how it's pronounced, Saint Maud. And this stars Christian Stewart as the main character, then Caddy M. O'Brien. She was in, like, M.N. Wasp Quantumania and a few other things I've seen her in. Uh, Jenna Malone, Anna Barashinikov, Ed Harris, mm -hmm. Dave Franco. It's nice to see him and stuff again. So pretty much this film is about, uh, well, the main character is Krista Stewart. She's kind of this uh, lesbian, dykeish, tomboyish kind of person. Um, she works in, in this uh, in this gym. Mm -hmm. and, she, and one day, uh, Jackie, played by Caddy M. O'Brien, this, this bodybuilder chick who has aspirations to go to a... a Vegas. To go to Vegas to um to 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 uh to participate in this competition, mm -hmm. and I'll win her enough money so she can you know go go become a trainer and do her thing and live her life. Um, she so she gets this new job at so so she so she gets this new job. She kind of fucks Dave Franco to get there, and um as perks in this new job, she's able to go into the gym anytime she wants. Mm -hmm. And this gym is where Chris Stewart works. Yeah. Um, and then that's when they meet. They kind of fall in love and get into this relationship. So you know, chaos ensues. You know, murders is murder murders involved, and Chris Stewart has to move a lot of dead bodies. So the movie takes a turn, <laughs> and it gets pretty chaotic. That's pretty much the story. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's crazy just how many dead bodies Chris Stewart actually has to carry throughout this movie. <laughs> this movie is serious, but it has some comedic moments where it had the audience like die. Yeah, it has like some. It's darkly humorous. Of and yeah, it's, it's a very it's a dark humor. It's dark as shit. And a lot of the dark humor of all the workers Stewart always have to move fucking dead bodies. It's like a recurring theme. <laughs> always moving bodies that fucking Jackie, the other character, the main character, drops. Mm hmm Because <laughs> basic, basically, uh, uh, also part of that part of the arc is that um. Is uh Kristen Stewart's character Lou get introduces her to steroids, mm -hmm. and she she takes that and it's and just like you hear certain sound effects like you as you you see her hulking out, yeah. and it's very nasty. It sounds kind of gross. <laughs> like gross, you know. I mean? And it leads to obvious roid rage, which leads to down a dark path. Yeah, of killing and hurting a lot of people, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then getting caught up in Ed Harris's, who plays Kristen Stewart's father, who's also a gun runner and a criminal. And they clash. So yeah, it, this is very much a movie with a lot of big personalities coming at each other. Just a lot of just drama coming to a head. It's yeah. very much one of those kinds of movies. It's just kind of <laughs> it's a movie where expect expect all the expect chaos to ensue. Basically, exactly. yeah, expect a lot of chaos. But that being said, like while this movie does have a lot of gross and chaotic moments, it also is like a kind of oddly heartfelt cop. Like ro like romance at some points. Yeah. Like I think I do think the I do think the romance between the two main characters are is handled very well. I think like they are very viable as a couple. Yeah, that's yeah. Strong, that's this great. is the year of gay romance, man. Yeah, between this and uh and drive away dolls. <laughs> yeah, this, they work really well. Yeah. I felt the connection. Yeah, like the romances in both of movies held strong though i do think i do ultimately think this is the better movie of the two like by a pretty decent margin too i'll say this is better than john wade dolls yeah, yeah. but 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 john wade dolls were was good but yeah i think this movie's a little better yeah same actually yeah. i think movie's just better in general yeah i mean admittedly these are fairly different types of movies but with that being said i th like i do think this is the stronger one yeah, i think Kristen stewart did a really good job yeah she killed it here yeah, she killed it i think Maybe even Oscar potential, you know. Like, yeah, I just I thought I was really buying her. I already bought her as this character. Yeah, she was great. It's not even just about the actual like communication of dialogue, just everything, the personality, mm -hmm. the looks, her the, her her costume design. Her yeah, makeup, she brought that character alive. She did her expressions, her attitude, like just everything about it just worked mm -hmm. well for his character. You know. Yeah, like I was really impressed with, but both Kristen and Katie. To be honest, I thought they both yes, they, killed it. Yeah, they both they both did pretty good. Yeah. Ed Harris was Ed Harris. Yeah, um, he, he plays the same character in a lot of movies. He probably played a real tool bag. Yeah, he did. He played such a skeevy motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> a real piece of shit. Yeah, I was, I was actually pretty happy to see what, what happened to him, even though it was so graphic. <laughs> and Jenna Malone plays the sister. Yeah. 
and she has like Stockholm syndrome. She's kind of not the greatest character. Yeah, kind of embraces the whole abuse thing. Mm-hmm. And and a justifies ba- it. And and Anna Berry, she she can of uh, she does she plays just like the most manipulative kind of yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She deserved what happened to her in this movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I was kind of surprised when it happened, but I was expecting it to happen in the movie when she got her just desserts. <laughs> so so, what do you think about this movie? Overall, I say this is a damn good time. All it's good, almost great. Only thing really holding it back is that I don't think the ending really meshes with what the rest of the film is kind of setting up. Yeah. I feel like I I get it. Subverting expectations can often be good, but here it's like I feel like it's just kind of cheap because it's it's very much a movie like it kind of reminds me of a Coen Brothers movie. Oddly enough, just in general in terms of like okay, shit's gonna hit the fan, a lot of bad stuff's gonna happen, but. No, and this is a movie with like a kind of almost like a weird take on a Hollywood happy ending, yeah. but like, but with just more sur- surreality to it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm, I'm really not crazy about that ending, but the rest of the movie is really damn good. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 the movie had a quite a bit of surreal moments in it, but it did. I, I, I get what you're saying. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean to talk about this after we finished watching it. We kind of watched the movie early in the week. And me and him pretty much had this kind of conversation, so our opinions pretty much line up on this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this movie's damn near great, very good, but the last like, the last act pretty much kind of kind of like fell a little flat. Yeah. Um, just how I feel about it. Could have did better. Yeah, mainly not enough to ruin the movie by any yeah. means, but it does keep it from being a great movie. Yeah, instead it, of, it, it's simply a good movie. But, but what Katie went through in this movie. There's nothing else but a tragic ending for her. You know what I mean? Yeah. That would have made that would have made the movie whole. Kind of Top Gun Maverick. That's Top Gun Maverick problem. They just kept giving Maverick close calls and just made everything feel cheaper. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I don't feel the realness here. I don't yeah. feel the actual sense of like danger and reality. You know. I think both this and that movie would have been better if this they died. If like if yeah. Jackie and Maverick both died in, in these movies, yeah, I think that would have been way just better. Just little disasters, Romeo and Juliet shit. <laughs> it would have been powerful. Yeah. Like honestly, I was going to this, like halfway through the movie, I was expecting like a Thelma and Louise style ending. To be perfectly honest, <laughs> mm. I've never seen that one. Ah, oh, it's a very good movie. Mm. Yeah, I heard that's what up. I, I know Brad Pitt's one of Brad Pitt's first big roles. I forgot he was even in that. <laughs> but that was one of his first big roles. That was his first yeah. big shot. Mm-hmm. Well, them, they let them let him to get his first real big role was um. That was like his real big leading role. That was interview to, interview with a vampire. Well, yeah, because he's definitely not a lead in Thelma and Louise. <laughs> But that was the movie that, but that was the Stumble Louise is what put him on the map, though. Mm-hmm. And that's according to him. Yeah. But yeah, I was expecting a much more tragic ending. And honestly, like, it just fits so well what the movie sets up. Like, this is kind of like, man, you really wish these two could just live happy life or they could just, like, go on a romance. They just, like, be, have this romance and this beautiful blossom and they just, like, go on, be happy. But then you don't get it. But then, like, the movie's like, no, fuck it. You do get it, but you get it in this really weird way with like literal giant transformations. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't really. It doesn't really drive what the rest of the movie was setting up. It feels, it, it feels kind of forced. I really wasn't vibing with it. Yeah, I, I don't know, forced, but I, I felt it just didn't. It felt it kind of took away. It definitely from, did from the impact the movie really could have had. Yeah, kind of makes you feel cheaper. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of a problem there. Yeah. But with that being said, that is like the only real problem yeah. I have with the movie. This is pretty damn good. Yeah. The romance is solid. The 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 look is good. Mm-hmm. They really big on space shots. Oh yeah, <laughs> shots of space in this movie. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting, and then the sound effects definitely is very. They pay some attention to that. Especially. Oh yeah. yeah, sound design is solid across the board. Yep. Yeah. Overall, just a good movie. I can easily recommend this to most people. To be perfectly yeah. honest. I'll get this. My score for this is by eighty seven. I'm the, I'm gonna give it an eighty nine. Like it's on just on the cusp of greatness. Yeah. Almost there. Fair enough. Yeah. But anyways, again, go watch this movie if it interests you. Support your local movie theater and all that stuff. Yep, Please. See you guys. Absolutely. Enjoy yeah. movies. Watch movies. Like and subscribe.